Count Dracula was born in this house here in 1431 and now almost 600 years later a Brazilian nomad is here in Sigushoara to show you a bit more about this medieval city in Romania. And if you have been to Bucharest you can see that this city all over has nothing to do with the capital. It happens because this part here called Transylvania used to belong to Hungary in past centuries. So it has a completely different influence. The architecture is completely different. You feel like Central Europe when you take a look around those houses. And as you can see, it's not really busy here. I'm here on a Sunday afternoon and there, there are some tourists walking around, of course, but not too many. And also, when you take a look around those houses, you really get the medieval village vibe from the place. I mean, it feels like a good place for retired people. You can easily imagine a lot of grandmas living in those houses, cooking their meals for their grandkids. Doesn't feel much of a place for young people. You basically don't see too many people living here. I believe they usually go to the capital or to bigger cities. But, uh, well, may not be the best place in the world for a young person to make it but it's certainly a good place for a weekend to relax and to get to see a little bit more of history. I got to this point here of the city that you can actually see all the houses from the above and they look really cute from up here because they have those old style roof tiles you know they they are a little bit more rounded quite different from the ones that we have nowadays and they also have those chimneys coming through the roof tiles uh, which makes the house uh, look cozy, you know, <laughs> you imagine they are maybe cooking something warm, maybe some soup, maybe some tea inside the home and feels like a great place to relax because, listen, there's no sound here, <laughs> it's completely silent. I mean, I've been walking here for a while now and the only sound here is the sound of my voice <laughs> and uh, it's a Sunday afternoon. It was supposed to be a bit more crowded with tourists. You don't listen to cars, you don't listen to people. It's only you and a few other people walking around. And it's quite of an interesting city. Maybe it's because it's not the biggest city in Transylvania. The biggest one is Sibiu, which I'm going in a couple of days. And it seems to be like five, seven times bigger than this city. And they also have a traditional city center there, just like this one. Look, take a look. It's kind of beautiful, huh? Have the tower there, well-preserved houses. Very like a medieval village. But in the other city, uh, the one that I told you about, Sibiu, you have that and you also have the structure. You also have a bigger number of people and more things to do. So I believe it's a better choice for most people who want to travel because uh, last night I tried to go out and when I took a look around at the pubs they have here, it was basically families. <laughs> you had like a dad, a mom and two kids on a pub <laughs> and didn't really make much sense to me to go out because all the other people that I saw here relatively young, they were in a couple. So if you're traveling by yourself and you want to meet someone, that's not the place for you. This is more the kind of place to just walk around and, well, <laughs> relax, take good pictures, get to understand more about the culture. Which is a great thing, by the way. Look, those houses are super interesting. Really beautiful, really cozy just not the place that you want to go for a nightlife because it's completely unexistent. And one interesting thing about how small the world can be and also about globalization is that this street here, of course, there are differences, especially when we talk about the tiles and some details on the architecture, but it still reminds me a lot of Colonia de Sacramento, which is a city in Uruguay. So taking a look here in this city, it's very similar, you know, the rocks on the street, the kind of houses, as I said, there are differences. But I've never been in any other city in the planet that had a street that remind me, reminded me more of this one than Colonia de Sacramento in Uruguay. And we are talking about a very 
distant place. Even in our days that we have the airplanes and everything, we're still separated by at least 18 hours of travel. Uruguay is deep South America and Sigishwara, Romania, it's Eastern Europe, Balkans, and they still look alike. To get here in Sigishwara, if you are in Bucharest, the capital, you can just take a train. I paid nearly 20 euros for the ticket and it was a 6 hours and 30 minutes trip to finally get here. But once you get here, totally worth it. I mean, the place is pretty cool and it's very calming. So it's not the kind of trip that you take and you get super tired because the city center is kind of small so you can pretty much do everything you want to do in one or two days and you still have a lot of free time to relax, enjoy the city, get your coffee, try your Romanian traditional food and explore everything you have in mind. If you want to go out to eat something, to drink something, they have good options here. I was in this coffee shop here yesterday, it wasn't raining like today and it's really cute you know they they have kind of their own garden here and you can actually take a look at the old houses there um, remember what i said about the roof tiles you can also see those older style roof tiles there and i'm trying to find a good example here but some of those houses they seem to have like a, a pair of eyes you see that yellow one there in the middle of the roof tile they kind of have an eye there <laughs> maybe it's a window or something <laughs> probably a window of course but when you take a look from far away it looks like a pair of eyes uh, and there, there are some that are more rounded and it gets a bit creepy imagine you finish drinking like 2 a.m you go out with your buddies you have more beers than you planned to and then you take a look at the houses and you see this big pair of eyes staring at you at 2 a.m. drunk. Must be terrifying. <laughs> Take a look around here. That's the place they have their own garden, Cafe Martini. And the houses on this side, they're also cute. Most of those houses, they were built uh, nearly 300 years ago. Some of them, they, they have a sign showing when they built them. So they're mostly uh, 18th century and 19th century, I would say. And you can take a good look around. It's very interesting, very interesting. It's a bit cold today. Um, maybe that's why there aren't so many people around. It was raining more, now it's just a little bit. So, I believe that yesterday they had more people here. Yeah. Well, I don't think that you need actually three entire days in the city or two. I believe just one good day here is more than enough. If you get here, I don't know, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and you just hang out until 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., I think it's enough. Uh, one good Sunday and you can pretty much say that you have done Sigishwara. You don't really need more than that. <laughs>